Okay, so we're uh, 360 CEOs, and uh, we're here to uh, help you to understand how to go in and get that money from the bank. Uh, we want to show you things that they're probably not going to show you on the internet. Hopefully, you walk away from here a lot smarter than those people on the internet that are uh, talking about uh, uh, bits and pieces of things. We want to come in. We want to bring in... Uh, uh, make that full circle. You know, if you're on the internet and you're, you're trying to search out how to get that money and you know Donald Trump, Oprah Winfrey, and everybody else is going in and getting that money, you, you're wondering, where are the pieces? My friend just went in and got $100,000, $500,000. Why can't I? Well, that's because you probably are not building it properly or structuring it properly. Uh, whatever it is, we want to find out what it is. So we're not going to come in here and talk about uh, how great I am and how much money I have and all the things I've done. Uh, we want to go in here and not waste your time. And, and you want to hear more about how I can help you. You want to hear about how you can get that money. So we're going to go in and talk for a while, like I said, uh, and teach as much as we can. Then we'll come in about 10 minutes and, and we'll say, uh, you know, this is what we offer you. This is what we offer you. If you need our help, fine. If you don't, then come back for questions and answers. Hang in there. We can get question and answers. Then we're going to talk more, 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 more. This is going to be 10 minutes of what we offer and not like everybody else. Oh, 40 minutes of how rich I am and all of this and that and how much money you can make. Now sign up for our program. We're not here for that. We've done very well, very, very well. Uh, so like I said, I can't be Martin Luther King. I can't be Malcolm X, but I can be Derek Whitehead and I can give back in that way. So if you don't believe that I'm here to help you, then watch how much I try to teach. And after the 10 minutes, then watch how we go back to question and answers. So I'm Derek Whitehead, CEO of Alpha Incorporated. Uh, about 30 years in business. I uh, was in high-end banking. Uh, we did, um, you know, I was uh, worked in boiler rooms where we raised money to take companies public. Um, you know, manager of Bank of America Holdings. Um, you know, I managed over twenty uh, billion dollars under management uh, in notes and real estate notes. So we also want to, if you have questions about real estate, write them down because we're here to make sure you succeed. That's why we're here. So um, uh, what we've done is, is that we've gone in, we've gone in. I've helped the politicians and congressmen and athletes and all those people, like some of the people you see here on the screen. Um, and these are real people, uh, senators and basketball players over there is, uh, is um, to the left, myself and and uh, and uh, Coutinho Mobley plays for the Houston Rockets uh, uh, with Shaq and all those guys and Scottie Pippen. He also, uh, I don't know, he played with uh, the Houston Rockets and, and uh, the L.A. Clippers. He's a pretty famous guy over there is the left over there with the lady with the hat on. She is Dr. Shirley Weber over to the over to the right. Uh, she's Dr. Shirley Weber with the hat on. She is now the Secretary of State of California. So you want to get your corp out of California? That's the one that's overseeing all of that. The Secretary of State is where you get your corpse from, from whatever state you're in. Over to the right, Kimberly Ellis, uh, uh, head of the Democratic Party. Uh, I, um, uh, been at the Democratic Party twice, uh, Democratic Convention. I'm, not a, I'm an independent. But, um, you know, they're talking about jobs, jobs, jobs. I said, okay, how about teaching people how to get some money and get their own corporation? Uh, I've got a pretty good standing of, 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 of very big applause, uh, but they're still pushing jobs. You know, senators, congressmen around there, that's my buddy at the bottom. He's since passed. You guys probably know him as Pop. Uh, so a lot of people I've helped. I've been the backdoor guy for a very long time, but now I'm coming out to bring this information to you, okay? So we have to say this because we do something called a scratch pub code. That means we take companies from, from nothing, people, everybody's something, and nobody's no better than anybody. But I'm talking about financially. We're talking about uh, taking a company from scratch, nothing, and we're gonna teach you about that, from nothing to a publicly traded company like Google, Amazon, that's what we do, uh, or anything in between. So 
Because we do that, we have to say we're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, and we're not um, we're not uh, anybody legal. Uh, uh, if you want uh, tax taxes done or any of that, we cannot give you advice on that. We are consultants, so we're here to assist you in the best way we can as friends, because as friends, I can give you this free information. So I consider everybody on here a friend. All right. What we want to do is, is uh, what you want, what I intend to teach you today. If you already know, fine. But um, what I intend to show you is the secrets of how to get from 200, 100, 200, 300, 500,000 dollars, even a million dollars to invest and enjoy your life and do what you need to do. We should teach our children this. We should teach our children this. So if you want to uh, uh, get money to do business, then you're in the wrong place. If you want to struggle and, and run around here talking about, I'm going to help my family by working every day. This is not the way to do it. You're in the wrong place. If you're looking for motivation, that's Tony Robbins. He's over at the other side. If you're not motivated by now, I don't know what you what to say to you, but if you're looking for that, learn how to get that money. I was the next underwriter. I taught underwriters. Then you're in the right place. That's why you don't get the money because you don't understand what they want. They're not helping you doing anything for you. You're helping them. So what we want to teach you is 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 the rules of money, right? The steps of multi billion dollar businesses are the rules of money. Oprah does not have a three, almost $4 billion. She, she doesn't have that on her mattress, right? Uh, 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 Trump, he doesn't have what, 20, 40, bit, whatever, 40 billion, whatever uh, in his closet, it won't fit. Be uh, what is this, uh, Amazon, Bezos, 100 billion? He doesn't have that in his closet, it won't fit on the trunk of his car. It's what his company is worth. And what separates them from the people that don't have it is the knowledge of, first of all, the rules of money. If you're trying to go from here to California, from wherever you are to uh, 100 miles in any direction, then you might not make it if you never took the driving test or if you don't know the rules of the road. So if you don't, you don't want to be caught on a football field in a tennis outfit, that ain't going to work. You don't want because somebody's going to come along and put you on a stretcher. Business is a contract is a is a is a contact sport. It's war. It's a contact sport, and that's why people ask me a lot of times. They say, "Well, you know, Derek, let me ask you something." They say, "How come? Um, how come you always in that suit? You know, how come you always have that?" Uh, I say, "Because this is my uniform. Don't a don't a, a football player have a uniform?" I said, don't a, 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 a senator and everybody else wearing suits, right? Well, why are you wearing this? You realize why people wear this tie and they wear this top shirt like that that covers your neck? Because a long time ago, people used to have war to conquer. And so they had to protect their neck. That's why you see George Washington and the boys always have in the back in the day, those old pictures, their necks are wrapped around all the way up to here. Because if somebody swiped you with a sword, boom, and hit your neck, your neck is protected. That's why they wear this high shirt as a symbol with a tie around it, extra, extra protection to protect the neck because business is war. There's a book that's called The Art of War. So we have to understand these things. We have to understand the rules of money so we can enter the good old boys and slowly, and now it's the good old girls club because Janet Yelling controls the money. That's a, that's a woman. So don't be, uh, uh, guys, I'm sorry. It's no longer the good old boys club only, but I want to try to initiate you into the club. All right. So we want to learn the rules of money. First thing is there's Latin and there's Aramaic. Like 2000 years ago in Rome, when they came up with this stuff, right, they separated everything from them and the poor. So the poor people, 85 percent of the poor people, they spoke what? They spoke. They spoke 
uh, Aramaic, as you can see up there. Aramaic is a poor language. Those people were farmers. They couldn't even read, right? They couldn't even read. So, so the, but the rich people, guess what they spoke? The rich, the rich people spoke Latin. The rich people spoke Latin. So the same thing as today, right? We understand that, that the, the language of today, the, the, the poor people, 85% speak English. English is a Baltic or a subsidiary of Latin. It's a poor language. Even if you and over in England, you know, speaking the, the king's proper language, you're still a poor language, right? It's called the Baltic of Latin, right? The rich people, they speak Latin. And the same thing then is the same thing today, right? So is above, so is below, same thing today. They've separated themselves, right? We must understand money is not based on moral law. They separated that too. So money is only gold and silver. It's not the stuff that we're walking around with that we're pulling out of our pocket thinking it's money. The dollar bill is just a negotiable instrument. It has no intrinsic value. It is, it is not real money. It's fiat money. Let's, let's remember that word. It's called fiat money, right? Now, I'm going over this briefly so you can have an idea of this club you're entering into, right? So, again, we do a scratch pub code, taking a company from scratch to a publicly traded company. I must also let you know, the same way they separated the 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 uh the uh the the languages, eighty five percent poor, fifteen percent rich, Aramaic Latin, the same way they separated money. Money is based on moral law. Now, I mean, I'm sorry. Money is based on is not is not based on moral law. Money is based on uh what they call um, admiralty law, water law, water law. So the people are based on, on based on what they call uh, uh, morals. So you raise your hand, you go to court, and they say these are the laws. If you if you if you don't go, if you if you screw up, they say I, thou should not steal, thou should not do that. Then you go to court and you go deal with the laws that you broke, and you got to have a penalty. But they didn't want to be combined with that, so they separated that. They separated moral law which is for the poor and, and the corporate law or laws of money and made that based on what they call uh, admiralty law. So in the water, that's based on water. So in the water, there is no law. That's why a pirate old peg leg could go out to your ship, take everything he wants from your ship. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. Why? Because he did that in the water. Then when he goes back to shut, he can take the bounty, the, 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 the money, the bounty, the booty, everything, and go back, old peg leg, and be drinking at the bar and say, there he is, he's the one who did it. He said, you can't do nothing to me. You know why? Because I did that in the water. It's based on water law. That's why you have liquidity. That's why you have uh, 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 a watermark on a check, right? That's why you have um, uh, currency. You put your money in a bank. A bank is where the, the land meets the water. That's a bank. That's why they give you a birth certificate, right? They make you own you, make you, give you a birth certificate. Now they make you a corporation. Now they own you. Then they turn around and borrow against you. So you got to have a corporation that you can go borrow against. And you can use, uh, speak, uh, speak Latin, don't have any responsibility for anything. You separate yourself and say, I didn't do it. Willie did it. And Willie got the money. Willie mess up. If you do it the way I'm going to show you, then you don't have to worry about it because Willie's the one holding the ball, not you. So many people have bad credit. So many people are unable to get access to money because they don't understand the rules. So you walk in with Willie. If Willie screw up, I'm sorry, Willie screwed up. You say, sorry, you go out to your trunk and you pull out Leroy. 
And if Leroy screws up, then you walk back out to your truck. And stuff. sorry, Leroy screwed up. Now you go pull out Wilhelmina. Whatever you want to name your court, right? The court, the court is responsible. All right? So you next thing you know, you're sitting here with an LLC, and you don't really understand the rules that banks don't lend LLCs. That's limited in liability. But we'll get into that, right? So the, the next thing is, is people are saying, sign up for my company, sign up for this and that. And then you know, John out of, out of uh, San Diego, he made $30,000 $30, his first month, his first day. But they don't tell you, you have to have a business to do business. Where are you going to put $30,000 in your first month or your first day? Where are you going to put it in a personal account? They have something called Homeland Security. They're going to be all over you. Anything over $9,000 you put in the bank is going to, they're going to report you to the IRS. And they're going to want to ask you all these questions and everything, audit you everything. Where does this money come from? So, but you can put hundreds of thousands in a business account because they know it's there to do business. Just have the proper SIT code. Now, remember, Sick code. We're going to visit that net. We we'll visit that later. Sick code. Ask your questions after this is over because we're here to help you learn. Okay. Now I ain't asked you for a dime, but I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna explain things to you. We're gonna to get to the meat on how to get that money. So hang in there, and um, we're gonna to get to that. Now you need to have a business to do business. The next thing is you need to use other people's money, other people's ideas, and other people's efforts. Why do I say that? Because they came up with this whole money thing and they separated it all. They said the 85% is gonna go try to get money to do business, but we're gonna to go to the bank and get money to do business. We're not gonna do business to get money. That's backwards. 90% of the stuff they're teaching you on the internet is backwards and I'm tired of it that's why I'm here to teach you the right way from a from an underwriter standpoint I know underwriting I trained a lot of them okay so what we want to do is 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 teach you how to do it we want to teach you the steps of multi and billion dollar businesses right we want to teach you about seed money foundation capital and springboard funding next rule Seed money. You got to have some seed money to do something with. So what? You make $100,000 a, a, a year. Okay, after your $100,000 a year, then what? You, you got to pay your bills. You got to, uh, 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 that's, that's gross. After everything is paid and your living expenses and all that, what you left with? $10,000, $20,000. What you going to do with $20,000? You need a bulk sum of money to do something with, and you use other people's money to do it. You don't save up and say, well, I got to save up and get my truck. I want to have a mobile car washing business. I, where you at with that? Well, I got to get my truck. I'm going to have it pretty soon. Now a couple more paychecks. I got to save up. Well, I'm going to dip in my 401k. You're going to use your money and put your money at risk? Really, that's not business and nobody taught you the rules. So you're going to go in and now you're going to get your reservoir to carry the water. Then you got to get your uh, 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 thing to pull the water. Then you got to get your, uh, uh, your, your stuff to, to, to clean the cars. Then you got to get the vacuum in it. Please, you get money to do business. You don't do business to get money. That's a very good, serious rule. Seed money. Go in and get the seed money so that you can go in, now have a proper foundation, which is your business structure, and all businesses should be worth something. All businesses should be worth something. You don't go in and, and have a business uh, and it's not has no valuation. Some people think, well, I'm holding all my money to myself, right? So I don't pay any taxes. It's a cash-based business. I'm like, really? Well, you're not getting any benefit except the money that you're making. So why is it that a person over here is going to have 100000 that they made and the person over here doing the same thing 
His business is worth 500,000. Same business, because this person has a business that's worth something. He can get a hold of bank statement loans, uh, 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 revolving lines, installment lines, uh, pay net for cars. Remember that, pay net. He can pay, pay nets, you can buy trucks. You know, he can uh, 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 annualize loans. Loans you can't even, you, you haven't even heard of. But they can't tell you that these exist because they cannot advise you. They can only tell you of their programs in their, in their uh, advertisement. But they can't give you a list of everything we, are, we, we do. So you should have access in your company. The more that it can get a hold of, that, that means it has a valuation. The more assets it has as it grows and gets, gets uh, more money, it has a valuation. There's plenty of ways to get a valuation, right? So you don't want to be sitting on there whole hundred thousand dollars bragging about you made a million dollars and this person over here worth five million and you wondering why scratching your head because they don't have you don't have a valuation. Oprah is worth almost four billion. Her company is worth that. She's not worth four billion. She doesn't have anything. Because why would she? Why would she pay capital gains tax on all this money? Her company own, or the, or the other company, Harpo, has all that money. And she stand back and say, I'll just drive the car for Harpo. Because Harpo can't drive. Harpo is a person. A corporation me is Latin. Remember that Latin? A corporation corpse means body. It means body. That means you bring it to life. So a corporation, if you're going to bring it to life, you drive the car for it. She lives in a $50 million home. That's not her home. That's the corporation's home. She's just laying back. Somebody got to live in it to help the home, got to, to help the court. Okay? So we want seed money. We want uh, foundation capital. And then we want springboard funding so that after you get the seed money, then you build your corp the proper way, got a nice uh, foundation built to it, then springboard into wherever you want to go. After you get the money from the bank, then you go in and get money from investors. And that's very easy to do. If your company is worth something to invest in, that's why you don't get no LLC. You get a C corp because a C corp has papers in the back that you can give out to investors that's called stock. You don't give away a piece of your company, you give away the papers in the back. Nobody ever, first of all, nobody hardly ever orders a, uh, a, a, a book that goes along with the corporation. You have the same stamp as the United States of America, which is a corporation, corps, right? You have everything it has, you become Obama, you become, Biden, and you can borrow, give out the shares the same way. Remember, Scratch Pub Co. Why do you think only micro? Micro is I want to earn one to five million dollars. That's your micro thought. But did anybody ever, ever give you the notion that you could have a macro? This is not 1975, people. This is 2023 where a rapper is getting $50 million rapping beats. I know a businessman, a businesswoman can do better than that. Because the businessman, the businesswoman is the person behind the rapper. If he's making 50 million, the businessman is making 100 million, 500 million off that rapper. Because he's the one putting the money up for him to do what he has to do. But they're not using their money. They're not using their money. So. Let's think micro, one to five million, that's what you call wealthy. And then let's think also, what is your macro idea? What are you gonna do to get a billion dollars? The money's not real. So why can't you have a billion dollars? And do not be afraid. The only thing here is to be, is the fear, like Winston Churchill said, is to is fear itself. And fear don't ain't never hurt nobody, it just hurts you mentally. So let's go in, let's have our seed money, foundation, capital, springboard funding. Right? After that, then we're gonna do the next rule, and we're gonna go in and get uh, 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 
other people's money, other people's ideas, and other people's efforts. You don't work, they work. They did not come here, they came here for religious reasons, the Puritans and George and the boy. No, they didn't. They came here for land, and the land is the landlord, and then the land controls the people. They got free labor and took everything out of that that they wanted and became rich. They came here for, for the land. 75% of all people in the United States that become rich millionaires, they become millionaires through, through, through real estate. Real estate. So you're not going to have any person that is rich or wealthy or whatever you want to call it, one to five million, that does not have real estate. Some people say, oh, that kind West, that boy, that is crazy. Well, he ain't that crazy since he's buying up half of damn what I think Colorado, thousands of acres. He's doing what George Washington did, except they took theirs. He's buying up thousands of acres of land. Why? Somebody must be talking to him. Somebody must have taught him the rules. So what are you going to do with this 200, 300, 500, 1 million dollars? You do what you want with it. You have a dream, build your dream. Don't let nobody stop you because the bank is your friend. God told me, he said, he said, man, you know, I've been knowing you, man, for 30 years, man. You're my best friend. I said, brother, you're not my best friend. He, said, he got his stuff like, man, hold on, hold on. What, what you trying to, who, who is your best friend? I said, bro, remember that time I asked you I needed 150000 right? And, and you, you didn't have it to give to me? He said, yeah. I said, I didn't have it. Right? He said, but I got it now. I said, yeah, but, but when I needed it, you didn't have it to give me. He said, so you're going to be mad at me because I ain't have it? I said, no, I'm not mad at you. I said, but you know, my best friend gave it to me. He said, well, okay, bro, then well, who's your best friend? I said, the bank. <laughs> I needed that money because I had stretched myself out and I need 150 to pull me over so I could do this fault. I think made three or four million dollar deal. I was needed 150 to keep me alive. Bridge loan, they call it. All right. He didn't have it, but I went to my best friend who's always there. When I'm down, I can go to the bank and say, man, I, I need hundred thousand dollars. I'm going on vacation. I'm not gonna use my money. And they say, I don't tell them I'm going on vacation. I use a special purpose vehicle or a special purpose entity. Write that down. SPE, SPV, special purpose entity, special purpose vehicle. All right. I told you I'm going to tell you some things that you probably never heard on the Internet. I'm not going to play games with you. I'm going to speed it up in a minute. And I know that you're here for a reason. And I'm not going to treat you like babies. You can learn this. This is nothing, no, no big deal. You never have a problem learning how to drive a car. You thought that was a hard thing. And now you're driving with your, with your knee. The women are driving what they need, putting on lipstick and the, the, on the phone and everything. The brother's on the phone doing this and making deals and writing down things. But when you first learned how to drive a car, it was like a big deal. Both hands on the steering wheel. Not anymore. Same thing with this. This is the way. You want money? Learn the rules. Right? So you do business to, to get money. If you're doing that, then you are not learning the correct way of, 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 of allocating funds. You're not going in the right way. You don't do business to get money. You go and get some money. Hey, well, he needs some money. And then you put some aside to pay the loan, and then you go do your business. And I'll explain to you why later, why you put money aside. Nobody ever does that. They get funded 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars. They got this large sum of money, but you got to pay the debt, the loan. So what you got to pay the loan? Put enough a year aside so you can pay the loan and you ain't got to worry about that. Then what you do, now you can do non-performance income. 
non-performance income. All right. And invest that money, use with somebody else's money, and then make your money and then go on, take that money, put it back in the business. Don't don't go spinning up all this money. Use the you spend the money that you that you get in uh, 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 the salary from your co your company, spend that money, but put that other money back into the corporation. You don't have to pay that capital gains tax. It forces you to, to get bigger. Now, remember, upside, remember, upside down T. I'm teaching you high finance. Let's shift on in the second gear right now. Boom. Okay, so upside down T. What is upside down T? Upside down T is... <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Okay, upside down T in high finance. I'm giving you an education that some people pay $400,000 for. And I'm going to give it to you freely. So an upside down T in high finance means you grow wide, your business grows wide, and you grow tall. As your business grows wide and you expand it, you're bringing in more money, which makes you taller in, in what they call revenue. Money, revenue. ROI, return on investment, right? So it's upside down T. In, in uh, a lot of the markets, and um, uh, we, we use symbols. Symbols help you remember what you're doing. That's the way I was taught. That's the way I'm teaching you. We're not babies. I'm not going to treat you like a baby. You're very smart. You were smart enough to hop on this, and nothing is by chance. If you're on this, you were guided to this. And I'm here to try to help you succeed. So now... Why would a bank give you money? I said, why would a bank? Banks don't give you no money. So I had people on the internet telling me about, you know, they don't give money to, to, to people of color. But they, uh, who cares if they give people of money, money of color or not? Because the corporation you're using doesn't have a color. So they don't know what color you are. <laughs> they don't know what color. All they know is, is green or it's a letter of credit, whatever color money is, that's, that's what the corp is because they don't know what color you are. You're an officer on the corporation and those are not, and that's not revealed. They don't go in and say, okay, what, how do they see your driver's license? How do they see what, what, what color you are? I answered a lot of questions on the internet today because if you notice, you'll see a lot of TikTok and social, uh, uh, all the social stuff that I'm doing these are free videos given free info. I ain't asking for a dime. People cannot believe that somebody is actually out here not trying to rip them off or scam them. He, can't, he must be up to something. Keep listening and see if I'm up to something and all this talking and teaching I'm doing. And ask for a dime, right? So the first thing you want to do is, is uh, there's a difference between FICO and SCORE. That's another thing I had people on the internet talking about. I answered a lot of questions uh, uh, today. And, um, you know, we usually have a whole team of people. We put together a team of people to do this, to help, right? On my side, as long as the bank has money, I got money. So I'm not worrying about it. I'm not worried about it. And you'll hear Millen later on come on for about 10 minutes, and he certainly is not worried about any money. Take my word for it. Anybody that's on my team, right, is not worried. They're either going to be where I am or they're going to be higher than me. So we decided to come in here, do, these, do, do this stuff because we're tired of hearing everybody on the Internet talk all this junk and garbage. Not everybody. But it's hard to sift through. That's why we call it 360 CEOs. So you can understand the complete circle of how to go in and get that money. Now, we're not teaching you how to get a billion dollars, which you can take a company public and make a billion dollars. That's billion is not a lot today. Right? When I say I, I had 20.2 billion under management, under management, that's pennies. That's pennies. Do you know when I was at the bank, 
The bank closes at night after they add up everything that they've done today. The they close at night and then they open up on the market at night and start trading at night. They trade in, look this up, MTNs, market traded notes in trillion dollar trades. Trillion. Why can they trade in trillions? Because the money's not real. It's just numbers in the system. So why can't they put one million in your pocket, in your in Willie's account? Why not? Now, the first thing you want to understand is that people say, I was on the internet, they were saying, well, the bank's not going to give you money if you don't have no, no good credit score. Right? Like, I got my LLC. LLC means Limited Liability Corporation. If you were a bank or you had some money to lend out, would you want to lend, lend, lend your money to somebody that says, I'm limited? And I got, oh, I got a little bit of liability or a lot of liability. Why would you lend your money to them when you can lend your money to people who don't have any liability, like a C-Corp? Remember that. Let's talk about that later. A C-Corp is what you want, not an LLC. That's for risky things. That's like for truck drivers. You know what a truck can do to somebody on the road? That's very risky, right? So they say, you're not going to get there. You don't have a cook. They're not looking at credit score. They are looking at FICO. There's a difference, right? What's the difference between uh, FICO and credit score, Derek? The difference between that is, is when you're going to borrow personally, they don't care if you got a, a $500 uh, 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 secured card. Then they'll, then they'll give you that house. You could have a 780 because you've been paying two years on a secured card. Fine. They'll give you that house. They'll give you that car, maybe a higher you know, uh, uh, rate. You got rate and term. Rate is, is how much they're charging you for giving you the money because money has a cost. And then you have term. How long are you going to be paying on it? Right? So interest, rate, and term. Now you say, oh, I know that. But what about the people that don't know that? So we're not going to assume that everybody knows that. So I'm here for you to succeed, and I'm going to explain it. So now, the next thing is, is credit score is when they're going to give you something collateralized from an underwriter's point of view. Think like the underwriter. Now, when we leave here today, we're not going to be, I'm a truck driver. I'm a hairstylist. No, you're not. You're a businessman or businesswoman who has, who happened to be in, as one of the things you do, hair, dry, hair, hair or, or trucks or, or uh, internet or credit, whatever you do, that's something that you do, but you are a businesswoman or businessman from here on out. You're a capitalist. This is a capitalistic society. This is an Africa where you walk in with a, a suitcase of money and say, I want that house. No, we use credit here. So if you're not in the game using credit and getting somebody else's money to, to get busy and do what you need and whip it and make it work for you, then you're not even in the game. Okay, so credit score. The credit score is for something that they're just going to take back. If they give you a, uh, a house or a car and you don't pay it, guess what? They'll just take it back. No big deal. We'll take it back. That's a score. And a score, they're going to be at 100. Let's say you start at 100. And then they'll work their way down on the things you don't have. And then they'll say declination. No decline. Because they work their way down. A FICO is when you're trying to get that money. So you want to have a good FICO. Not a good credit. Not a credit score. Right? So what you want to do is you want to have that FICO they don't start at, they're talking about money now, so it's more risk. So they start at 50 and work their way down. So if you're at 50, one to, one to 50, and they say, well, you have over three inquiries. Oh, boom. You have too many names on your credit report. It should be only be one name, the one on your driver's license. Oh, too many names. Those are aliases. The computer says, click, 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 click. Uh, right? They says, oh, you have too many... Uh, 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 you only have 
one or two things on your credit report. That's a thin file. With FICO, you should have, you should have uh, at least five trade lines. What's a trade line? A trade line is when somebody gave you credit. When somebody gave you credit. So you should have five or more, and that's easy to attain. It is knowledge. But knowledge is not power because just having the knowledge and ain't doing nothing is not power. That's nothing. The, the, the application of knowledge is power. The application, applying what you know. So you can leave here and learn all this stuff that I'm going to teach you today and then sit back with, yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, the guy, he, you know, he was straight up. He tried to, you know, to tell us some stuff, you know, but did you do anything with it? So knowledge is power and you need to get busy and they need to teach the children. They should teach us this stuff in grammar school because you need to learn how to maneuver credit so you can have your, have your life together. Right, so a FICO, anything under five trade lines is what they call a thin file, okay? Next thing is, what not a, uh, uh, um, the next thing is, is, how many trade lines do you have? We understand if you have a good mix, it's even better. If you have like a, a car, a credit card, a loan, maybe you got some furniture, you know, house, that's a beautiful mix but that does not prohibit you from getting money, okay? So we have stated, we have partial docs, we have full doc. Full doc means I got the bank statements, I got the 4506 T's, that's taxes, two years. I got the, um, uh, or, or I have the W-2's if you don't have a business and, uh, and um, you know, I have um, a mix and, you know, all these things. And uh, maybe I got some money in the bank too in my, in my business account, right? Full doc. But do you know you can get loans that have nothing to do with your credit? That's called a bank statement loan. That's called a merchant account loan. That's uh, after three months of having your money in the bank, then you can go in and say, hey, look, I want a bank statement loan. And if upon asking them, because they can't tell you, Right, you can. They'll add up. Some banks are three months. Some banks are six months. They will add up how many. If you have ten thousand dollars for the for, for three months straight, ten, ten, ten. Some banks are three months. Some banks are six months. So six months of that, or three months, they're going to add up as though you had a year and you ain't even had it a year yet. That's an annualized loan. They're going to lend you. 75% of whatever they come up with. So 10 in a year is 120,000. So you can borrow 75,000 of that. Just annualized bank statement loans. So don't sit here and write to me all this stuff on the internet like you know, right? How to, about banking. Do you understand M7s? Do you understand M M13s? Do you understand letters of credit? Do you understand proof of funds? You can buy a proof of funds. So there's no reason why you should be looking for free health care, why you should be looking for Section 8, why you should be looking for government cheese, why you should be around here talking about, I just, I just can't get it can, because nobody's teaching you. I'm here to teach you, all right? Hopefully, you'll do something with it, all right? Now, and then you go back one sec, right? Okay, did we went over the thick file, the thin and thick file. So you want to, you don't want to have a thin file, right? Uh, you want to have the thickest file you can get. Now there's a difference when you're when you're getting money on your personal, which I don't advocate, because you go and get the money in the court, and then you don't have to worry about it. So you walk in and get the money on the court, and let's say, for instance, you go to so you want to go buy a car. Well, we need to learn the five bureaus to go to, which one are you going to go to to get your car? And you don't, and you just build up that bureau and then walk in the alley and go get yourself a bank, a, a, a car. Know what you're doing when you walk in the bank to do it. Now, most people do not understand the five bureaus. We'll get to that. And if I don't get to that, ask the question. I want you to succeed. Uh, next. 
fix your business credit, have your, remember, seed capital, right? Your, your, oh, good, we're going into pay debts. Good. So that's going to be your five uh, 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 bureaus that I'm going to show you, right? So now, the number one thing is you go in and get funding on your personal credit forever. You just snatch those inquiries, and boom, snatch them, snatch them, and keep funding, keep funding, 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 right? But we don't do, want to do that because you're speaking, you're speaking Aramaic. You're going to be held responsible for that. So go in and fund your court. But if you choose to fund your personal and then you and you have that nice, uh, that decent FICO, you can get 100, 200, 500,000 in your personal. But if you wanted to do that and you just wanted to get as much money as you could and you knew that I could put this into some real estate, or I could put this in some poor old, or I could buy myself a couple of tractor trailers or I could, you know, do what I'm going to do. And that's a bridge loan. I know I'm a, I'm gonna know I'm gonna get that money back, right? To pay that off. Then you fund your corp and fund your personal. Two, 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 two hits at once. Right? That's how you get a nice piece of change, right? Okay, so the first thing is let's talk about business credit. You want to get your EIN number. First, you want to have a business. Remember, you cannot do business without a business. You're a businessman now. You're a businesswoman now, right? So first thing we want to do is we want to go in, get our corporation. Banks don't like LLCs. So let's talk about limited liability corporations. That's for just uh, transferring things like real estate, where you don't have to worry about seasoning. You don't have to worry about uh, taking your name off and then, and then uh, uh, down at the city and then putting somebody else, transferring into somebody else's name and all of that. If the bank says, I'm going to give you this property, but I don't want you to make money off me. So you can't sell it for a year. What the hell? you using up your equity, right? You're using up your, your money. The quicker you can sell it, the quicker you can go double your money. But they try to not for you to do that. They call that seasoning. So how to get around that is people in real estate show you a little trick here. They put the, they buy the house or whatever, the property in the LLC because LLCs can move things around easily and you can get rid of them easily. But that's just for doing that. That's not for making money because banks know that. So they don't like them. So you, per, you purchase the house and put it in the LLC with the LLC. Now the LLC owns the house. When you sell the house, you don't sell the house. You just sell the corporation and you just remove your name and put their name on, new owner. And the house has never been, you, you've never had to uh, go downtown and remove your name from nothing because your name was never on nothing. That right there is, is a, is a $3,500 piece of info. I charge people every day $3,500, $4,500 just for that secret, that tip. And it makes them tons and tons of money because you can't, you don't want to play with seasoning. I'm trying to get rid of this. So now you get your corporation. Okay, no, first of all, LLC. LLC is like for a doctor or something risky or moving real estate around. A doctor operates on somebody and says, you know what, you messed up, I'm gonna sue you. Doctor says, man, I'm a limited liability corporation or I'm a limited liability partnership because I have partners and you're not getting nothing from me because I'm a limited liability. I'm licensed and I'm bonded. Same thing with a construction. They don't like construction and they don't like LLCs, limited liability. They don't like that. So we don't want that when we're trying to get money, right? There's an S corporation. We go out and we get these corps, but we don't even know what the corps are for so, so we can use it particularly for what we want to use it for, for its intended purpose. So an L so uh, a S corporation, that's when you go in and you say, you know what, I have, um, I got a, I got a, I got a hundred thousand dollars, man, a million dollars. I want to invest in your company. I hit the lottery. You say, oh, good, bring it on. You make money, I make money. Let's go. I got this property I want to invest in, man, with you. I can see the property. 
Yes, sir. You want to watch and see the thing get built up. This ain't Bitcoin, right? Yeah, which I don't have a problem with Bitcoin, but I mean, this is something that you can see. So he says, okay, give me the money. He says, but I don't want to be a part of your company because I don't want to pay capital gains tax. You say, well, that's fine, man. I got the perfect thing. I have a S Corp. That's for investors. That's for investors. So there's no need for you to have an S Corp unless you're going in to, to grab investors. First, you got to see get some seed capital. So why you got an S Corp? Nobody is going to attract it to your new company because you got a, uh, your company not even built. Why are you going in looking for getting an S Corp? You got investors lined up? Ain't no investors going to line up and you haven't even done anything yet. See? So the next thing is, is a C Corp. Probably from your angle is, is this way. So C Corp. So what you want to do is get a C Corp. The C Corp is like the United States of America. The, the United States of America is Washington, D.C. That is only the United States of America. Only, right? It, 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 is, a, it is a corporation out of Delaware. Go look it up. It's a business. So you see all this corporation stuff going on? The states are corporations, separate, right? The cities are corporations, unless they're very rural. The people are corporations. If you don't believe you're a corporation, turn over your corporate, your social security card and look at your corporate number. And they borrowed money off you and then put that into an account, right? In bonds and then borrowed, use those bonds as leverage to borrow money from the Federal Reserve Bank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, baby. You know I'm going to give it to them raw. For those that are not believers, we're going to make you a believer. We're here to help you. 360 CEOs, right? And we're going to help you today. You're going to walk out of here. Who's going to teach you all this stuff on the internet for free? Nobody. <laughs> okay. So now, what we're doing is nobody. <laughs> That's right, Rob. So what we want to do is we want to understand that they are borrowing money against you until you work forever, pay that money back through federal taxes, the money that they borrowed that they use and that you can't even touch. So you need to have a corporation that you can use your straw man so that you can borrow and you be out the picture like they're out the picture. Make sense? And it's all based on the corporate structure. So if you don't have the corporation, right? This man is from the major. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going in. We are we are setting up our corporate structure, our straw man, so that we can go in and play the same game they're playing. So we go in. We say, I don't want any money. Willie wants the money, and they say, Oh, does Willie speak Latin? Because remember, Latin is on your money. Latin is Latin is everywhere. It's on your money, it says e pluribus unum. From one, that is Latin. When you go to the court and you sit on the courts, on the court bench, the judge comes out, all rise, right? The judge comes and sits on a bench. Do you know what bench means in Latin? Bench means bank. So we got to understand this game. If we understand the game, then we can play the game correctly and we don't have to worry about none of this crap anymore. So let's understand S Corp. C Corp is the United States of America. So you can have the same advantage. Get yourself the C Corp. Get your, your stamp just like Obama. You got your shares in the bottom that they give out. Uh, bonds to borrow against, you have your shares. So now, what we want to do is, is, is uh, Luke, don't forget we have to be careful with Nevada. Yes, sir. So since we're talking about Nevada, um, never buy a corporation from Nevada, never buy a corporation from um, uh, uh, any of the places that people are going to because I was an underwriter. So what we want to make sure we do is, 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 is avoid places where everybody are going to a lot of people because as an underwriter, I taught them 
to scrutinize those places more because there's more, there's more fraud. So stay away from the places that everybody go to. Go to the redneck states. Now, what just what Luke just explained to you is one way to do it. I advocate getting the seed corporation. When you put money aside and you say, you know what? I got $500,000. Guess what? I got, I got let's say, 100000 measly money. Whatever money you get, put it like that. You know what? You take out some of the money to pay the loan a year. And you put that to the side. And after 30 days, then it's all painted on its own. You're doing business. It's taking care of it. You should know how to grow this company. You should have money. If you, if you take out the trash and you write a laundry list at the same time, you can't do both. You can't take out the trash and then think and write a laundry list at the same time. Somebody has to do the thinking and somebody has to do the work. So you get the money enough to say, I'm paying you to do the work. If you can't do the work, then I love you, but we have to get somebody else. Simple as that. This is war. So protect your neck. <laughs> okay, so now. <laughs> Protect your neck. <laughs> so now, guess what? You got the you got the S, you got the uh, uh, LLC, uh -uh, right? Wrong sit code. And remember to ask me what is a sit code. But that's gonna come up here. I'm pretty sure. So uh, wrong NICSC code. Wrong, right? The S uh, S corp. That's for investors. You haven't even started yet. Why are you trying to solicit investors? Right. And what Luke was explaining to you is a great way to do it. Right. But you can do it that way or you can do it the shorter way. You can go in, put some money aside to service that loan. After three months, you're paying the loan. You say, I'd like to increase in credit. Some banks three months, some banks six months. They increase it. Then after a year, you ask for another increase. Well, you not only have good credit, you have excellent credit because you've been paying it. The difference is, is they lend money to corporations based on how well you pay your bills. If you have an 80 pay deck score, which we're going to get to how to build that, then that means you pay your bills on time. If you want higher than an 80, so an 80 pay deck score is like an 800 personal credit score for a business. So, so with personal, it's not based on how well you pay your bills, right? It's based on, it's based on uh usage so if you go over 30 percent then guess what they're not giving you any more money because you are the 85 percent they play with you like that but they'll get a corporation much more money why because they know the corporation is there to earn money and they know the corpse gonna it doesn't have to sleep it only has one man it it has many man hours a, a person is one man hour. You can only make one person per hour. A corporation can have 20 of those, 50, 1,000. Google has 1,000, right? So it has, it, has, it has growth unlimited, a corporation. And a C Corp has growth unlimited plus flexibility, plus protection, plus golden parachute, attempted to explain to you golden parachute right now what i'm explaining to you later is going to be a corporate veil and that's a seven on your side it's probably not like this uh but like this a seven right so what we want to do is is go in after a year of paying on time they're going to say to you you know what you've been paying on time now the court can, can borrow that 100, 200, 300, whatever you borrowed on its own because it has great credit. It's been paying all the time. And now when it borrows that on its own, it pays off the money that you signed for. So now you, you free and it's on the court. So if you're going to buy a car, buy it with the corporation's money. Now, if something happens with the corporation, you sign the corporation over to you or another corporation, and the car is yours. 
Willie gone, but the car, the building, the asset, all that is yours. That's what we're trying to teach you here today. Now, that's one way of doing it, and this is another way of doing it. So now, the seven. The seven is not this way for you, but probably this way for you. So, so over here is the C Corp, because they like C Corps, like the United States of America is a C Corp, right? The C Corp is here, and this is what they call, this is what they call a, uh, a, uh, a corporate veil. I'm not gonna play with you and act like you babies. You can learn this, this corporate veil. Boom, corporate veil, C Corp, go out, go out this, go up this way down. And that is your doing business as, DBAs. Doing business as, ABC Corporation, doing business as uh, such and such real estate, doing business as such and such car dealership. Like we have numerous car dealerships. Right, you want to say uh, uh, these are DBAs. The ba the mama births babies, and just like Starbucks, those are all DBAs. And then out to the top, from the from the seven out to the top, is your foundation, and over here is your C corp. The C corp is going to say everything we own belongs to you, C corp. So if they sue the mom, the babies, the mama, the C corp. You can never do anything with it because it's called a holding corporation. That's why you have Bank of America Holdings. EIN number, corporate veil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Robert. Good man. Robert is always, always listening. <laughs> so EIN number. The EIN number is a, the corporation is a person. You have a social security number. It has an EIN number. That's its social security number, the EIN number, right? The five business reporting agencies. Write this down because I'm going to move kind of fast, right? So five business reporting, not transunion, Equifax, Experian. That's personal. And we're not playing that personal. We're talking how they really do it. So five business bureaus. Do you know what those are? Let's go through them. Experian business, Equifax business, Dun & Bradstreet business, uh, small business financial exchange, small business financial exchange, small business financial exchange, PayNet. Let's say it better in this order. I like it better in this order. Experian, Equifax, small business financial exchange, Dun and Bradstreet, and PayNet. If you are a true CEO, you understand this. You can have 50, 500 businesses. If you don't understand the five bureaus, then you don't have access to knowing how to get what you need for your company. You may have a trucking company. You need to understand that PayNet is who they're going to check. So you need to build PayNet up so that you can go and get your truck or your car. I'm a real estate agent and team lead. Okay, guess what? So you need real estate money. We're going to get to that. If you are getting a getting a cell phone, you're getting a um, you're getting a, a a computer, you're getting business furniture, you're getting um, uh, fax machines, copy machines, industrial stuff. They call it an equipment loan. An equipment loan. The equip the equipment loan uh, is going to be is going to be PayNet. P A Y N E T. So build up your PayNet. So people say, well, we can sell you corporate trade lines, put them where they want to put them. You're like, I don't need them over there. I need them over here because I'm a true CEO. You can't fool me. Okay, so now we'll handle the questions after this. Now, the, the pay net is for Toro. Maybe you need some cars. Maybe you need some trucks. Maybe tractor trailers. Maybe you you need equipment. Maybe you're into um, uh, marketing. You need a bunch of equipments and you need some cubicles and all that. Then you need to build up your pay net because that's what they call an equipment loan, right? Next, maybe you want those store cards. Maybe you're a builder, right? Maybe you do uh, home flips. You should have Lowe's or, or, or a, a, a Home Depot or somebody that sells you know, um, uh, uh, building material. So. 
Those are store cards. Those are your 30 day nets. So your 30 day nets where people teach you on the internet, build up your 80 pay decks and get your 30 day nets with Euroline and two and, 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 uh, and, uh, Interstate Battery and Quill. Who's going to give you $100,000, $200,000 cuz you got a $50 Quill account? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> right? So they teach you online, we're tired of it. You got to, oh, I got a Quill account. I got a $50 Quill account. And I got me a, 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 a interstate battery and I got a, and you got this, of course, you got five to eight trade lines. So now you can have a pay dex. Now you can have a score, 80 pay dex score, but that's got an 80 pay dex score. But when you're trying to go get money, right? Guess what? They don't care nothing about that, about those Dun and Bradstreet cars, those, those 30 day nets. They throw them out the window. So they just got over on you. I'll build you a shelf corp and I'll get you some trade lines or 80 pay deck. Okay, now you got it. Now you want, but I can't get no money because they threw that out. Because you got an 80 pay deck, fine. But I ain't lending you no know, $100,000, $200,000 because you got a dang on a $50 quill. A quill? Hell, I gotta pluck that off a bird and dip that in some ink and write with that. That's like useless. Quill. Uh uh. What you do is you go in and get yourself those big nobody. So you go in, you get yourself first those big lines from signing for that. When they hit, then you go in and build your your uh, for your store cards and go get those quills and stuff. Because now they're going to give you not fifty dollars. They're going to give you ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand Home Depot lines and after six months next build it up more after a year build it up more that's the way to do it i told you i was going to teach you stuff on here that they didn't teach you on the internet so far i don't know how far i'm up into this right teach it so if you doubt that i'm here to help you succeed put that out your mind next the thing is, is you want to have a C corp. So sometimes the, you people don't understand. People go get these new corporations from you know legal, you know, legal, whatever they call it. But they don't care. They know the bank don't lend to you because you got a new company. But they sell you these new companies every day, and they sell you LLCs every day because they don't care. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. That means a lot to me. And so, so they don't care, but don't go out and buy no new court. The same way you can buy a new court, you can buy an old one. Isn't that a novel idea? And is that legal? Sure it is. Don't people buy pizza parlors and companies and corporations every day from people? So buy yourself a season age shelf court. Because banks don't like rookies. They don't like babies. You walking in with a brand new company, they say, uh-uh, come back when you got some experience. So why wait three years? They want two years, two tax years, almost three years before they even deal with you, consider dealing with you. So people wonder why they got no money. You don't know the rules. Right? Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you, PT. Thank you, Towson. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the proper company because banks don't deal with, with rookies. I know. I'm gonna, I was a banker, right? That's what we want to think like the underwriter. Let me give you a hint. Banks don't lend money to people who need money. They don't care. They lend money to people who want money. So never act needy and know the rules and walk in like, I know the rules and you need to give that some money because uh, I know the rules. And you don't even have to say that. If you walk in, they want to give you the money. Why do they want to give you the money? Because the bank, every time you walk into the bank and put $1,000 in, the bank now has 
nine times the money that you put in. So you're helping them more than they're helping you. The bank is your friend. They want to give it to you, but they have to meet certain guidelines that's been put out there that they have to meet, like general accounts, acceptance principles, TILA, truth and lending, RESPA, the numbers. They have to, they have to go by these certain rules. But they want to give it to you. If you borrow a thousand from the bank, they have a they have ten thousand, the thousand you put in plus the nine they put on the books, and they have the interest that you're gonna pay them. And when the bank closes, they add all that up as though they have it now, and they trade that on the market, and money, market traded notes in trillions, and the next day, they nine times richer than what they were when in the daytime when you were there. So why, why is all this money floating and you're not getting none? Because nobody's showing you, and nobody... We need to start caring. We need to start teaching our children. If you don't teach our children, they're going to be around here killing and shooting each other because they're not stupid. They're like, I'm not sitting around here, uh, uh, walking around here, uh, 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 uh. and everybody driving around in Benzes and Jay-Z around here talking about, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm a businessman. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Like, they want all this money. I was around him not too long ago. He's like, yeah, man, I'm a businessman. You know, I'm a businessman. Right? So you see your children going out here and they're forming these little things together to get their money. They're just using their minds the best way you can because if you're in a monopoly game, they give everybody money in a monopoly game. And they give everybody money out and then pass you up and don't give you none. And anybody else got money to buy hotels, to buy apartments, to buy businesses, and you don't have any, in the Monopoly game, the only thing you can do is steal or go to jail. And they know that, right? And it's not a black and white thing anymore because white people are hurting too. They living up in trailer homes, talking about, man, that's why they talking to Trump, man, this gotta change. We ain't getting nothing out this deal. It's rich and poor now. Remember that. This is rich and poor now. And a lot of people are in the poor category. So if you don't teach your children, they're going to be out there with their pants down and not listening to you. What you telling me? But if you're telling them, hey, man, you ain't got to get in that car and go put in work. I didn't always have this suit on. You ain't got to go put in work. Right? You go go out there and say, hey man, I'm where you going? Get in the car. We're gonna put in work. I know this guy got this hundred thousand dollars he just got, man. We're gonna go get that. Say, nah, man, go ahead. Get in the car. Man. I told you we got we got a hundred grand. We gonna get nah man. Where you going? I'm going to the bank. Going to the bank. <laughs> That's right. I just got fifty thousand dollars last month from the bank. I'm going back. What? That's why you got that jacket on? Yeah. Man, get in the car. Where are we going? Why am I getting in the car? Homie, we're driving you to the bank. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, I need to go in here. I can get $100,000 and drive that Benz and buy me a real estate and buy my properties and kick it. I don't have to sell drugs. I can open a damn pharmacy and sell drugs legally, I got the money to do it. That's a whole nother world for your children. So we need to teach our children. I'm done, I'm done preaching. Uh, now let's get on. So next thing is we gotta make sure that we don't get a, we get a age corporation. We don't have to buy a new one so we don't have to wait three years. We wanna do things quick, quick, quick. Time is time. Is, is money if you're talking about business. Talking about business, money is not, it means nothing. It has, it, 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 mean, it cannot take the place of your children or your happiness or, or how good you feel when you got up or how bad you feel, but money can help in a lot of different situations. So we need our children to not have to worry when we get older 
We can't lead them Martin Luther King Boulevard. We can't lead them a, a damn uh, post office job. Can't lead them that. But we don't have the knowledge. Now we have the knowledge. Now we can lead them something. Walking that bank, son. Dad, I want to open up a, a car dealership. That's what my idea was. Mom, I want to open that. Well, okay, son. I got a season H corp over here. Now I'm going to pull this down and go get that money for you. But how you going to pay me back? You going to pay me back what installments? We going to partner up on this. And your kid can go out and open this dealership. No more. I can. Well, I, you know, son, I love to help you. I love it. No. They need to learn this. They should teach us this in grammar school. So, okay. The corporation should be able to be an older, an old corporation, not a new one, but don't ever go over five years, right? Don't ever go over seven years and never go under three years. Because after you go over seven years, guess what? The bank says, you turn into dog age. You know how a dog is now all of a sudden, he's seven, but he's really like 60. You know, so he's seven years old. Why is he dragging his legs? Because he's 60. He's a dog. He's seven years old. old. So, so that's what a corporation does. When you hit over seven, eight years, it turns into like dog age. So now the bank going to say what? I don't know. They say, well, you're an old man or old woman. Why don't you have corporate credit? Why don't you have taxes? Why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? They're going to start scrutinizing you more. So you don't want to really go into, why don't you have financials? Exactly. Exactly, Chris. Exactly. They don't teach you nothing. George Washington? What you, in school, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Man, nobody, what? Really? Uh, George got we going out to eat. George going to pay for that? We're trying to go to the uh, the Bahamas. We're trying to go to Latin America for, we're trying to go to Africa for a trip. We're trying to go see the pyramids. With old George W. Washington going to pay for that? Uh, I don't think so. So we need to learn. So the thing is, is, uh, is uh, never go over seven years or eight years old because you turn to dog age. And then they say, you are a poor business person or you're lying. So we lend no money to you. Because after after seven, eight years and you ain't did nothing, you ain't even got no, you haven't even paid taxes on nothing. I don't think so. That's why you don't, people buy these age corporations online, not understanding the full thing. Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs, we're here to make you the CEO. No longer are you a, a you're a businesswoman, businessman. No longer are you, I sell, uh, I sell uh, cars, I'm a hairstylist. No, you're not. You're a business person from now on who happened to deal in that. And I deal in any opportunity because I'm a capitalist. I will capitalize on any deal that makes sense to me. What you want to do? I'll just go get the money from the bank, lend it to you, other people's money, and you're going to pay me, and I'm going to pay the bank a little bit of money. That's how this works. Non-performance income. Okay. So use um, uh, the five credit business trade line bureaus. E Experian, Equifax, small business financial exchange. That's banks talking to banks. Dun and Bradstreet, PayNet. PayNet, equipment loans, the store cards, Dun and Bradstreet, like Dun and Brad Pitt, D U N N, Brad Pitt, Bradstreet, right? That's where you get your store cards, those cards that you don't give your money, store cards. That's your 80 paid X, your merchant accounts, right? Next thing is, is your small business financial exchange, your financial exchange. If you're going to go in and get a lot of credit, they're going to report you there, right? And they're going to say, hey, you know what? Banks are going to tell other banks in a portal. We lent him money. We're in first position. First position means um, UCC1. When you come and pay it off, they file UCC3. And they say, now uh, he paid it off or she paid it off. So y'all free to lend him some money if you want to. UCC1, UCC3, small business financial exchange. Right? So, so with... Non-performance income. Yes. 
That's what we're talking about. We're going to think like the rich. We're going to think like Oprah. We're going to think like Bezos. We're not going to think about, think like the Aramaic. We speak Latin now. All right. So now, uh, the business trade lines. If somebody, if you had a, oh, well, wait a minute now. Small business finance exchange, banks talking to banks. If you want that revolving credit card, right, or you want that uh, a, a, a line of credit where you borrow 100 or 200, whatever, pay it down, and you can use it again over and over, over and over, over. That's they're going to be Equifax, Experian, sometimes small business financial exchange. See? So those are the categories. So if you want money and you're the true CEO, you say, well, we need to build up our Experian, right? Because Equifax is not in the game right now. Remember that. So you say, so you say, we got to build up that experience and our small business finance has changed because we want some money. We want some credit cards to use. We need to expand our expand our business. We need uh, some store cards, um, some gas cards, right? We need to do a uh, Dun & Bradstreet. You got to know what you need so you know what to build up. We need some trucks. Well, why don't we go and do experience? That's why you're not the CEO, I am, because I know we need to go to pay to pay net. So leave the leave the uh, business to me, and you keep doing the work. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. That's why I hired you. That's why I borrowed the money from the bank so I could pay you, so I could sit back and think with the knowledge that I know how to run this company and expand it upside down. T boom, create my seven boom, and then or from this way boom. And then I know how to structure my company and then protect my company and keep it moving. Now, uh, achieve good credit, uh, uh, business credit. I explained that through the pay decks. You had to build the pay decks. Now, you need to show that you are paying it down. Some people buy corporate trade lines on, 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 uh, online. They'll say, I'll put some corporate trade lines on there because it looks good if the bank sees somebody already gave you credit. It does but they'll offer you corporate trade lines. And, but, but I used to train these guys, these bankers. So they will go in and a sure way of them knowing those aren't real corporate trade lines is they will look and see these trade lines, you got a hundred thousand dollars. It ain't never been paid down because they don't have the ability to, to pay them down. They know they got a tricky way of putting them on, but they, they can't pay them down because they don't, they don't own the debt really. They're just putting them on there because some other business is reporting, yeah, we gave them credit. But the bank's not stupid. And they're saying, they're not paying this down. This is piggybacking. They call it piggybacking. So now you just bought, now you red flagged because they're not stupid. The only real pay, real way to get these trade lines is when somebody owns the debt. They call it reassignment. They own it. They report directly and they can take it from that debtor and put it on your corporation and charge you a small fee. $100,000 may cost you four grand. That's cheap to have $100,000 on your corporation worth of $100,000 worth of debt. You got a $100,000 car on PayNet. You think they're not gonna give you a Benz or a G-Wagon? <laughs> See, so, so next. 75% of all millionaires that are made in this country every year are made through real estate. That's why they call them the land lord. The lord of the land. Right? And those that live on your land, you are the lord. And it's real property. That's why they call it real estate, not fake money that you're using. So you get the fake money and then you buy something real and turn it into real stuff. Gold, silver, real estate, houses, cars. That's the game. Now, as a as a uh, financial person, um, uh, years ago, I've done just about everything there is, almost. Nobody knows everything. If they tell you they know everything, they're a damn lie, and I wouldn't believe nothing they say. Acting like they know it all. I don't know it all, but I've been in this game almost 30 years, so... I, this has been my world, so I'm sharing it with you. So as a, 
the financial planner, I understand there's a three bucket plan, right? I'm an economist. So the three bucket plan is how you are successful. So first thing is have your one to five million coming in, your business that brings in your money, you live well, live in nice houses, drive nice cars, all your nice watches, you know, Cartiers and all that stuff. Fine, fine. But that's your micro, remember? What's your macro? But the three bucket plan is have your one to five million coming in, working on that. Then you, the next bucket is going to be real estate. You must have real estate. No rich person is not going to have real estate because it, 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 it's the landlord. Why do you think they have wars? Why do you think they're fighting over and everywhere, conquering? Not for the hell of it. They're conquering the, to take the land because they want to be the landlord. If you're the landlord, you control the people. So why aren't you the landlord? Three bucket plan. Your money coming in, keep you that good life, one to five million, right? The next bucket, real estate. The third bucket, investing in things that are long-term investments. Long-term investments, such as, uh, you know, like, uh, Long-term of like, uh, you know, Schwab account. You know, Schwab account. You have to have $250,000 to be a accredited investor. So why do I say one to five million? To be an accredited investor, to invest in good stuff like long-term investments like Google or stuff like that. Um, uh, uh, you have to have 250000 that you don't have to worry about if you lose it. I ain't worried about it. Okay, fine. I can recover. Right? That's what in order to be an accredited investor, you need one to five million. So if you lose 250,000, you need to have at least a million dollars to say, I ain't worried about it. That's why you need one to five million. So you can invest in things like, you know, you have yourself stockbroker or whatever, and you invest in things like, you know, like uh your Schwab account. $250,000 in order for you to say, I ain't worried about it. I'll lose it. Okay, fine. Or more. Or more. And they're going to vet you to make sure that you have that. Right? So I'm not just talking the game. I'm, I'm living the game. So you want to do that. So those are your three bucket plans. Making a good living, having real estate, and solid investments. Right? Then you want to take your money. And, and you want to go in into a new trucking or Turo or Airbnb or even bank notes. That's the top of real estate to buy the note. Like the bank buy, owns your note and they sell the note constantly. Just moving paper. That's true non-performance income. Just buying the paper cheap and selling the paper off. You got a whole bunch of real estate notes, non-performing notes you bought for 50 cents on a dollar. Then you go and sell those to the flippers and say, give me 50 grand on these 40 notes. 50 grand in three days, you do the math. And you do that two or three times a month. Boom, 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 boom. There's a lot of money to be made out here. So don't be, don't think small. I do real estate. Okay. What's your micro in real estate? What's your macro? That's your billion dollar move right there. They sell these things in trillion dollar trades. Look them up, MTNs. So I don't want you to think small. I want you to think large, right? So what we're trying to do is to show you how to not make a dollar out of 15 cents. I'm trying to show you how to make 100,000, 50,000 out of five grand. What about going public? Robin Baker, that's right. What about taking your company public? We can take you public. You can become a publicly traded company with everybody around the world, just like Google can invest in you, like they invest in them. Why not? No more small. Before we jump to question and answers now, what we're gonna do is, uh, I told you I'm gonna talk. I've been talking, I don't know how, two hours, I don't know. 
five, six, seven, almost two hours. I told you we're going to talk more and teach more than anything. If you come in, Millen is going to come in and talk about 10 minutes or so and say what we can offer you if you want us to help you. We want to show you everything that you don't need us. But if you feel like you want us to hold your hand and you come in and say, you know what? Uh, I want to work with you. I want you to help us. We're going to show you what we offer. And we have uh, Millen coming on. Believe me, Millen does not need the money. <laughs> Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> so anybody that's dealing with me is going to be at my level or higher. That's the way you earn money. You deal with the weakest link is where you're going to be. So if a person's around, you around a person that's talking about uh, getting a job and earning $50,000 a month, a year, a, a, a year, that's what you're going to earn. That's right. That's right. So that's what you're going to earn. If you're around a person who's talking about, I need to fix, you know, I need, I'm, man, I'm pissed off. Why? I need to, I need new seats for my jet. Then you're going to be thinking about jets. The mill is a, a, a high end real estate person in Bulgaria and, and in, um, uh, 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 Greece, right? So he doesn't need the money. The mill is going to come in, uh, show you some of the things that we do. If you want us to help you, give us a call. We can help you. And that'd be about 10 minutes. Come back. We're going to do questions and answers. But we want to help you get that money. You, won't, you don't need us. Write your questions down. And I'll be back after this. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for your patience and thank you, Derek, for delivering this amazing information, like always. So I want to congratulate you, all of you. Just the fact that you're still here means that you are very serious and you are somebody who is very ambitious. That's great. And uh, it shows that you are someone who don't play around, right? So somebody who can get this funding, uh, this kind of money that uh, Mr. Whitehead was talking about so far, you know, a million dollars in corporate funding, and you can grow your business to a multi-million dollar or even billion dollar level. So uh, before we go to Q&A, my name is Milan Wynn. I'm uh, Mr. Whitehead's business partner, and I will be with you for the next 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll just tell you briefly about something really special that we have for you and something that we believe it can help you get that money much faster. And as Mr. Y had said, you don't need us. But if you want someone like us to take you by the hand and guide you through so you can get that money, then you will like uh, what I have prepared here for you. So please excuse my accent, even though I speak four languages fluently. Unfortunately, I have some accent. I hope you don't mind, and I'll do my best. Uh, before I start, let me, let me just check up the comments real quick. Uh, I think Bridget is going to be there monitoring and uh, moderating the webinars, but I'll just check uh, if, you, if you can hear me and everything is fine. Okay, so no issues at the moment. All right, so now you've heard Mr. Whitehead, and if you've been paying attention, and I hope you did, now you know that getting funded with 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000, or even $1 million, and then taking your company public is absolutely possible. And you can do it as long as you have your corporation and follow his advice he talked about in this webinar so far. So if you are someone who wants to get this kind of money from the bank so you can invest it and scale it to a multi-million dollar company and possibly take it public and enjoy the lifestyle you've always wanted, we have great news for you. Now, you can get a properly structured and properly built season stage ready for funding shelf corporation that can get you approved for large sums of funding for a fraction of the cost other companies sell. And the seasoned, aged, ready for million dollar funding shelf corporation has been carefully built the exact way the banks want. So you can apply for 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000 or even 1 million. Use this money to scale your business and make millions from uh, investments like real estate, right? So, and possibly take your business to a billion dollar publicly traded company, which is totally possible. People do it. Why not you? So if you want to get funded with 100, 2, 3, 4, 500,000 or even 1 million dollars, 
if you want to use this money to scale your business and possibly take your company public and you want to do it within only 12 weeks or less then this shelf corporation has been seasoned and built specifically for you so here is what this shelf corp consists of first of all you're getting a shelf corp that is unpublished okay never sold online this is a must-have and banks require that uh, for you to get the funding it doesn't have bad credit right so this is verified and it's very very important well, let me just uh adjust that one second yeah so this is very very important it doesn't have bad credit because if it has bad credit forget about getting any funding uh, so it's ideal age four to eight years old this is seasoned and aged seasoned and aged is the same thing so it's been aged on a shelf and banks absolutely love that and it's properly built and properly structured it's ready to receive million dollar funding so once you have all of this there is nothing else to say I, I would you know congratulate you and say enjoy your money so how much do these shelf corporations are sold for you can check how much they sell similar shelf corporations on the internet you can find them at about twenty thousand dollars okay uh, and they sell like cupcakes why well simply because they can get you thousands and possibly millions in funding who doesn't want to pay twenty thousand and get two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand back or four hundred thousand or more yeah this anyone would do that right so the problem is not all of these shelf corporations you can find online are ready for funding let me explain because you know some of them are not only poorly structured not only are published which are which is a big no-no to the banks but can also have bad credit and if you don't know how to check it you can lose your money we don't want that so on top of that once you buy the corp from some of these companies i'm not saying all of them i'm saying you have to be careful some of them you know you're out the door right so you know very important it's very important not many people know that even if you buy a seasoned age health corporation even if it's a seasoned it's aged and everything is fine okay even if assume that everything is fine which is like a rare thing you still need to do some specific steps to build it and prepare it for funding no matter whether it's, it's seasoned and aged and on a shelf you still need to do something after you buy it but most of these companies not all some of them they will not show you they will not guide you they will not build it for you they will not prepare it for funding they will not advise you nothing you just buy a corp from them and you'll be on your way good luck you know so now with us it's a completely different story right so we will hold you by the hand and show you exactly how to build the corp after you have bought it so some banks can even beg you even beg you to give you even more funding so now you're probably asking yourself okay i want to know how much for all this value okay fair enough but before i reveal to you the final price let's go over the corp so you can understand the colossal benefits of what you're going to be getting so you're getting a seasoned age shelf corporation that has been aged like a fine wine and banks absolutely love that this is fourteen thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollar value it's properly built and properly structured it's ready to receive business funding this is five thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollar value it's unpublished never sold online this is a must-have three thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollar value and doesn't have bad bad credit it, uh, you know banks absolutely require that for you to get the funding this is two thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollar value it's ideal age four to eight years old this is a sweet spot and this is two thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollar value but wait that's not all plus we will hold you by the hand and tell you exactly what you need to do to complete the process and have it ready for funding in less than 12 weeks i would say six weeks but let's be on the conservative side here let's let's say 12 weeks usually it's going to be ready in six weeks this is three thousand four hundred and ninety seven dollar value and we will teach you where to get a proper physical business address that's very important three hundred and forty seven dollar value and we will teach you where to get a proper business phone number a landline this is uh, also a must have this is three hundred and forty seven dollar value and we will you know teach you tell you the ideal sic nics codes that will get you approved even faster you, you you absolutely cannot underestimate these if you screw these up 
you will be denied faster than a heartbeat. So this is very important. And this is $497 value. So now this makes a total value of $35,673. But wait, there is more because we want you to succeed even faster. We have prepared something really, really special for you today. And this is on top of everything else because you are on this webinar right now. When you get your season eight shop corporation, you're also going to receive the full 360 CEO Economic Masonry Masterclass Coaching Program completely free, okay, which usually sells for $4,000. And this is something really, really, you know, astonishing. And I had to convince Mr. Whitehead and the team, you know, to, to give that away. They were very reluctant to give it away simply because uh, for all the sweat and tears that has costed us during two years to produce. So, you know, uh, this sh the shelf corp is like you're getting a fish, right? You eat for a day, you get the funding, but this program is like you're learning how to fish. So um, now... Let me tell you briefly about this program. This is amazing because once you see what we have here for you, you will be absolutely, you know, amazed. And uh, it is absolutely must have and useful. And I'll tell you why. So this program consists of four main modules. And in these modules, we're going to teach you. First of all, in module one, we will teach you how to be a good PG for your corporation. Uh, so what is a good PG? Uh, a PG means personal guarantor. And when you go to the bank, and ask for a business credit through your corporation. Let's call this, this corporation a Willy, and, and the bank will ask you who is going to guarantee that Willy is going to pay us back, and you're going to say, I am. I am personal guarantor. And a good personal guarantor has to have good credit and good FICO. So here, we, we're going to teach you how to have good credit and good FICO so you can be an excellent PG and have much greater chance to get even more business funding with your shelf corporation. This is $1,997 value. So you see, uh, I, I'm going to outline the other modules here, but you see that with the corporation it's like getting a fish you eat for a day but this program is like learning how to fish when you learn how to fish you eat for a lifetime okay so uh, module two now in module two we will teach you how to build and structure your corporation properly so the banks fall in love with it and want to give you even more business funding this is 1997 dollar value so uh, module then module three module three is funding and in this module we will teach you how to ask for funding so you can know how you can fund your corporation and anybody's corporate corporation for that matter and this is 2997 dollar value now, module four is after you have gotten the business funding, it's very important for you to learn how to grow and multiply it because otherwise you could lose it, you know? So the billion dollar question is, you know, rather billion dollar, not a million dollar question, it's a billion dollar question. And this is, uh, this question is, how do you do that, right? So, uh, and that's what this module is all about. Here you will learn now, we will show you some amazing real estate investment opportunities so you can grow your portfolio. And Mr. White had mentioned that in the last slide, right? The fact is that 75% of all billionaires in America exist because of real estate, right? That's why they call them the landlord, lord of the land. And if you control the land, you control what? You control everything, right? That's why, unfortunately, there is so much greed around uh, that, you know, the, these people fighting all these wars because of the land. It's not because somebody said somebody, you know, wrong to somebody else, right? It's because of the land. It's because of the resources. That's why it's so very important for you to learn and have your own land, have your own investments. So uh, in this module, we will talk about this. And this module is worth a minimum of, of $9,997 value. But today you're getting it included with your uh, program with your shelf corporation. How amazing is that? Oh, but you thought that I was done, didn't you? Not so fast. So when you order your shelf corporation today, you're also going to receive direct access to the man, to the myth, to the legend, Mr. Whitehead himself, and ask him any questions you want. And some people pay $40,000 just to be in a room with him for an hour. But today, when you get your shelf corp, you're also going to get direct group Zoom access to him so you can get personalized help immediately. So uh, now let's recap really quickly the value of what you're going to be getting when you are when you get your shelf corporation today. So uh, you're getting a CZT shelf corporation that has been aged like a fine wine 
and banks love that. This is $14,997 value. It's properly built, properly structured. It's ready to receive business funding. This is $5,997 value. It's unpublished, never sold online. This is a must have. This is $3,997 value and doesn't have bad credit. Banks absolutely require that. You, it's, you know, uh, you need to have that. For in order to get the funding, this is two thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven dollar value, and it's ideal age, four to eight years old, the sweet spot. This is two thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven dollar value. But wait, that's not all. Plus, as I said, we will hold you by the hand and tell you exactly what you need to do to complete the process and have it ready for funding in less than. 12 weeks, I would say six weeks. This is $3,497 value. And we will teach you where to get proper physical business address. That's very important. This is $347 value. And we will teach you where to get proper business phone number landline. This is also a must have $347 value. And we will tell you the ideal SIC and ICS codes that will get you approved even faster. Don't screw these up because as I said, if you do that, you will be denied faster than a heartbeat. This is $497 value. On top of everything else, because you are on this webinar right now, when you get your season date shell corporation, you're also going to receive the full 360 CEO Economic Masonry Masterclass Coaching Program, completely free, which will teach you how to fish. Instead of just eating for a day, you're you going to eat for a lifetime and you can leave a legacy for your children teach your children and uh, this is usually this program usually sells for four thousand dollars but today you are getting it included with the shell core and uh so in module one uh let me just really briefly uh, cover the modules we will teach you how to be a good pg for your corp this is 1997 dollar value in module two is corporate structure how to structure your corporation this is 1997 dollar value and module three uh, how to ask for business funding this is 2997 dollar value and in module four it's going to be about real estate investment opportunities that can multiply your income and this module is worth a minimum of 9997 dollar dollars but today you're getting it included with the program. It's also, when you order your Shelf Corp today, you're also going to receive direct access to the man, to the myth, to the legend, Mr. Whitehead himself, and ask him any questions you want. This is $39,997 value. That makes a total value of $92,658. And if you pay that today, you're going to get the Shelf Corp. Eh, I'm just kidding. Okay, so look, we're not going to charge you $92,658 today. We could, we could, but because of the enormous value this opportunity represents. But let me ask you a question. Do you think that after getting your ready for funding seasoned age Shelf Corporation and learning all of the high financial step-by-step -step secrets, Mr. Whitehead, uh, will teach you in this program. Do you really think that after all of this would be possible for you to get the funding you need and use it to invest and scale your business and enjoy a lifestyle of comfort, fun, and financial freedom? Yes, I think so too, because it's possible. Because, you know, if we can do it, you can also do it. You know, you've seen the value of this webinar, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. I don't know about you, but I would trade $92,658 for such an amazing opportunity all day long. Every day, I would do that, right? So we're not going to charge you $92,658 today. We're not going to charge you even $50,000, not even $20,000. When you order today before the end of this webinar, the price of the season Tate Health Corporation plus the whole 360 CEO Economic Masonry Master Class Coaching Program that includes credit, corporation funding, and real estate, plus access to Mr. Mr. Whitehead, will be only twelve thousand dollars. And we are doing this because we want to, you know, you know, we want to help you succeed, uh, get the business funding, scale your business to a multi-million dollar company, and possibly take your company public and become financially free really quickly. But only today, just because you are on this webinar and you stay till the end, you can get it for only $9,997. So here's what you need to do next. Uh, just click the link in the chat. Go ahead and click it. Place your order. Or if you have any questions, feel free to hop on a free discovery call with our team. Link will be also in the chat. They will help you with any questions you may have. 
And, you know, this is a great offer. Lots of people are going to take us on this for obvious reasons. It's simply an amazing value, but it will not be available for long. So this is a special price right now for everyone who is attending this webinar. I want you to know that this is not going to be available to the general public. And you will not get this discount if you come back, let's say, next week or even possibly the next few days. So click the link in the chat. Choose, you know, get the corp. Uh, get the funding, scale your business, and then have fun, get a nice car, buy a mansion, go to a vacation, just do whatever you want to do. I don't know, each one of you has a different dream, and I will leave this to your imagination, because once you do this, there, there is no turning back. Only the sky will be your limit. Now I'm going to give the microphone big, ba back to Mr. Whitehead for Q&As, um, and uh, go ahead, get the corp, and I'll see you at the top. And just uh, before I go, I want to just to make an announcement. There is financing available. If you don't have the whole amount, just uh, let our team know. Link will be on the chat. If you have questions or need financing, hop on a free discovery call with our team. The link will be in the chat. So click the link, buy the corp, book a call, and I will see you at the top. Thank you so much.